This is Goldshore. Here, another flame wants for kindling. After that, I can return at last to Flame's Grace and cast my ember into the Great Flame. Then, my long journey will come to an end. Hmm, that man looks familiar. Master Matthias of the Leonil Consortium! What brings you to this place, good sir? Ah, Sister Ophelia! It has been far too long since I saw your lovely face. Pray forgive me for ending our first meeting so abruptly. Uh, there is nothing to forgive, sister. I heard of the Archbishop's affliction. Terrible news, that. I hear that you are performing the kindling in Sister Liana's stead. Your journey has not been an easy one, I am sure. It is the path I have chosen. And the provisions your consortium generously prepared for my sister have served me well on the road. I thank you for all your kindness, sir. Our realm owes you a great debt. Think nothing of it, sister. We, too, are honored to serve. You have a gentle heart. The people are fortunate to have your guidance. Disease, poverty, war, natural calamities. There is no shortage of suffering in this world. And yet, I hear that recently, there are those who turn their backs on the church, shunning the light of the sacred flame. That is most saddening to hear, sir. Oh, but forgive me. I did not mean to trouble you when you have more important matters at hand. Do forget what I said, and focus yourself on the kindling. I too will offer a prayer for your success. You have my thanks, Master Matthias. And now I fear I have some business I must attend to. I will be in town for a while longer. Mayhap our paths will cross again. Ahem. <laughs> so, this kindling ceremony just seems like a big deal. Don't you get, like, a little nervous that you might put the fire on it wrong? Yes. Yes, I do. I can't help but imagine the worst, like, forgetting the words of the prayer or tripping over my own feet and then landing face first into the fire. I, I can't relate. I do get anxious when I restock the shop, but no one buys anything. But then again, it's kind of thrilling. Yeah, challenges are great. So even if I'm nervous, I know that the kindling is an important ceremony and I have to do it right. Yay. So shake off the nervousness and let's get going. I mean, if we must. But first... Forgiven me. Bad English. I would know more of this man to whom... Alright. You talked about him? He's a merchant from Flames Grace. Great help to me when I was preparing for my journey. So it was a fortunate happenstance to meet him here again? It certainly was. I'm starting to think the fortune is smiling favorably on this quest. Because as we know, Octopath Traveler always has plenty of time to introduce its characters. It's not like they would only introduce characters for them to be evil later. Because they have, like, literally no time to develop anyone. <laughs> that would never happen. I met you after all. If that's not good fortune, I don't know what is. It's bad fortune, to be honest. Yeah, your face turned bright red. She's like, oh no. You're catching the gay on me. <laughs> Octopath Traveler is a gays-only event. Seriously, though. As soon as he showed up, I'm like, oh god, oh, I guess he's the villain then. Uh, I, I will probably be proven wrong. However, 
just so happens that uh, Octopath Traveler has developed a reputation, in my humble opinion, of uh, only using characters if they are uh, going to um, be, be, be bad guys. Like, you know, like, you'll meet like two or three people. The only time it's been like an exception is the kids, but then it was just you doing the usual cliched arc that children typically have in these types of games. Kid acts out. You do some sort of action or adventure with them to get them to stop being pieces of shit that need to be thrown off a cliff. So I'm just gonna assume this guy's evil, or he's he ends up getting captured in some way, or the main villain we have to fight. Anyway, I assume we head toward the bright thing in the background. I assume that's where the church is, so we can light this. I like how I'm giving the game a little bit more shit now. It's, it's a good mix, I feel like. Where I'm gonna, you know, where I kind of make fun of the game a little bit. Um, after I was giving it an, an unbridled praise before. Which I think, uh, I think is appropriate. As your opinion on it kind of, kind of settles. How do you do? Hello there. You see... I am the sister. Do I have the honor of speaking to His Excellency? Oh. Yeah? Oh, thank the gods. We have been waiting eagerly for your arrival. <sighs> Is something the matter, Your Excellency? You look quite pale. No. I, I do, uh, but please forgive me. There's nothing you need concern yourself about. Hmm. Oh, oh. oh, but what a terrible welcome I've given you. I'm Donovan, the Bishop of Goldshore. We thank you for coming all this way. No doubt your journey has been a trying one. May the sacred flame guide us. I've been helped by many along the way. I could never have made it without their kindness. I brought the ember. May the flame ever shine upon the people of Goldshore. Huh. Uh. Is the uh, was up? Huh. Ah, forgive me, sister. I was lost in my thoughts for a moment. I fear I have not yet finished the necessary preparations for the kindling. Goodness. I'm so very sorry. I'm so terribly sorry, it's just that... In that case... Your Excellency, is there some way I may be of service? No, I must... Uh, I mean, don't trouble yourself. I'm sure you already have much on your mind. Why don't you get some rest in the meantime? I will see to all that must be done. Talk about being distracted. Wonder whatever could be the matter. Look. As a boy. Oh my god, she just programmed. Is her story just always interact with children? Because I, I, I'm already like, oh god. Oh god. Please don't be a chapter about children again. Please don't. Oh god, please don't. I beg of you. Please, ma'am, can I please not have the child be in the story? Please. Please, I beg of you. Ah, uh, wonder where that child could have gone. Are you okay? Something troubling you? Ah, Professor, well, the truth is... I see. So there was a child spying on you earlier. Yeah, but when I spotted him, he ran off to God only knows where. He looked to be in trouble. I'm sure I could help. If only I could find him again. Truly, you are a kind soul. It would well behoove me to assist you... In this charitable quest. Why, thank you. Whenever you strive to help others, people become inspired to help you. I am no exception. Now, about this runaway. I don't imagine he could have gone far. So I think it best that we thoroughly search the vicinity rather than rushing about and spreading ourselves too thin. Haste does make waste, after all. Oh, 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 oh. I'm funny.
Huh, that priest is definitely hiding something. He certainly seemed distracted. Well, there's the understatement of the year. I don't think he heard a word you said. He's clearly worried about something else. He's an open book. Well, he's not a man who's accustomed to lying or... What was that word? I don't really know, to be honest. I think they made it up. Yeah, probably. Either way, maybe you're being set up and he's in on the game. If that's true, then there must be something forcing his hand. If we can get to the bottom of it, uh, we might be able to help. You have too much faith in people. I work for a church. Like, faith is like, it's like the number three thing, you know? So it's like, I gotta, I gotta do that. Whatever, man. I just hope your good intentions don't kill you. It's okay. I'm like level 37. 36. Close enough. <laughs> She's basically dead. Well, we should head back to... Let's go to the nearest uh, tavern and switch some people out. Makes sense to at least do that. Hold on. What am I looking at here? Um, I have Alphen already, so I would need... Uh, okay. Alright, looks like I don't, I don't need to switch until uh, we beat the boss. So, that just means uh, we can keep progressing. Which means when we're about to go to the boss, I'll switch to our final party. I love mashing the run button. Makes it sound like I have tap shoes. What a good-ass video game. Uh, unfortunately, it's making me talk to this child that I don't care about. Can you be, like, less important? Be super cool. Oh, you want? I don't know nothing. You are safe with me. I never said you did anything, actually. I just said hello. I am Ophelia. I'm Daniel. <laughs> what a lovely name. It's good to meet you. Thanks. Now then. Were you there to see the bishop? Yes. He sure seemed to have a lot on his mind. It was as though he was anxious about something or even afraid. I don't... Daniel, if you know something, will you tell me? <laughs> if there's any way in which I might operate, I don't know why I turned her into a demon. I brought a letter. A letter? Somebody asked me to give it to him, a stranger. When the bishop read the letter, he went all white. Never seen the bishop look like that before. Hmm. Mm, I'll bet you don't know what the letter said. Can you remember anything about the person who gave you the letter? I like to think the dialogue should have been... It's illegal to open other people's <sighs> mail, so I didn't look. Well, I'd never seen him in town before. A newcomer to town. Well, the only newcomers to town, off the top of our head, would be us and the random merchant that just so happened to appear in town at the same time as us. This is continuing to build a case of Octopath doing the Octopath thing. Though, there's still time for the game to throw me through a a bit of a loop. That said, where the hell are we going? It says, it says there's a green pulsating thing. Did I miss him on the way in? Maybe. I am quite focused on high quality commentary. Oh! I 
gotta guide you. Hello. I shall take this child with me. Um. The sister? Yes. Yes, Daniel. Did I had them? Um, did I do the boo boo? No. Ah, of course not. But if you're worried for him, why don't we go speak with his together? Why we gotta do that? I don't know what I just said, but why don't we go? Why don't we go? <laughs> Forgive me, I'm having fun. Hello. If you'll forgive me. Hey, what's up? It's, it's me, you know, the sis with, with the most. But why? Uh, that boy! Let us begin. Young Daniel had something he wished to say to you. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Is it all my fault? Is it because of the ladder? <clears throat> it's just that... You've been acting strange ever since I gave you that piece of mail. No, I must... You are to blame for nothing. Everything is... Well, it's my fault. If something worries you, please share it with us. Please share your problems with me and an eight-year-old boy. Sister Ophelia. Shall we? Pray tell, what was written in that letter? <sighs> I suppose there's no point in hiding the truth any longer. That paper came with a crunch. Your Excellency. We have your daughter, if you wish to see her again. Seize the ember from the flame bearer and bring it to the cavern by the sea. Speak to anyone of this matter, and you may consider your daughter's life forfeit. Kidnapping? What villainry is this? I must be honest with you, Sister Ophelia. Until a short time ago, I was agonizing over whether or not I should do as the letter says. My Lysa has seen but seven summers. When I pictured her together with such evil men, crying out for me, I... I... But to give in would be to betray everything I stand for as a man of the church. The flame protects all our people. It is not mine to steal. Your Excellency... I must trust that the gods have their plans for us all, even if it means my daughter, my dear Liza, will never again. Bishop. Is the bishop going to be all right? Yes. He is resting peacefully now. He must have been under a great deal of strain. The father's love for his daughter is a thing beyond measure. To manipulate that for evil is a sin the gods will not overlook. I will go to this cave by the sea and bring Lysa back safe and sound. You could be killed! Maybe. But I won't stand by and do nothing either. 
Don't worry. I can take care of myself. Okay. But please, come back safe. Well then. Um... I have a question, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, shouldn't we just, like, do the fire thing on this thing? Because if she was someone who cares for the people, wouldn't she light that first and get that done and then go and try and do the thing? I feel like that'd make more sense, because you don't know if you're going to come out of this alive. It's a little bit too presumptuous to think that Ophelia ain't going to get her shit pushed in. Next thing you know... While, you know, the pilgrimage could end up being a failure because she died, at least only one place gets screwed over. Then again, I don't really know the details on this, but I'm just saying, maybe, maybe do Ophelia. it. Ophelia. Hey, Ophelia, I owe you a thanks. Why? It was just like you said as I moved the microphone. It ain't right for a father to turn his back on his child. And when I see someone using kids for their own end, it makes my blood Boil. I feel the same, Alfin. But the truth is, I'm a little afraid. Ah, shucks, Ophelia. We're pals now. Me and my medicine, they're gonna be right there except for the fact that I won't be in the main party. So you got nothing to worry about except the fact that I won't be there. Oh, thank you, Alfin. It gives me strength in these scenes that don't show you existing. Or really any party member. It's almost as if I solo everything. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it is. It's very weird. Well then, uh, now that that's all cleared up, we need to cycle out a couple of party members here, get the final two, which should be Primrose and Orblick, and then we should uh, set off. Oh. Hmm. Is he the villain I assume he is? We'll see. We'll see, but for now let's uh bring in old brick and primrose and we did see these. Yep, 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 yep. And Yeah, alright. I was just double checking because I feel like we're going through this a lot faster than some of the other chapters. Ah, Sister Ophelia, our paths cross again. It's almost as if we're in the same town or something. That's quite weird. No. I fear there may have been some extenuating circumstances. I'm most sorry. Is that so? I'm sorry to hear it. It might it must be quite the crisis if it's kept you from your duties. Though I cannot say I find it surprising in these dire times. In every land that I travel in my work, I find such troubles. You do now. Heartbreaking, isn't it? It's just as I spoke of before, sister. Disease, poverty, war. Why, it's as if for every person in the world who finds happiness, another must suffer indescribable pain. Curious, is it not? We put all our faith into the sacred flame. Why does it lend us its warmth to some while forsaking others? <sighs> Sometimes I even find myself wondering do the gods truly exist? Master Matthias? May the sacred flame guide us. <laughs> I believe that is precisely because we live in such a harsh world that the guidance of the sacred flames necessary. I see. Hmm. I like that. So why is it that the sacred flame only helps some of us? And she's like, I think that's why we should believe in the sacred flame. And I'm like, that that doesn't that doesn't really. Whatever. It's just a religious thing, where it's like. That doesn't make very much sense, and it's like, well, religion's never supposed to make sense, is it? <laughs> You're just believing in a magical force in some ways. But hey, doesn't matter when your magic force is like a giant blue fire. That at least looks cool. 
I would rather believe in others than doubt them. I see. How very interesting. I find your way of looking at the world most fascinating. Clearly, you have more important matters on your mind today, but I hope that we might discuss the topic further another time. If you'll forgive me. It would be my pleasure, sir. And with that, bye. Hmm. Still haven't written him off as a potential bad guy yet. I'm sorry, but this game has trained me that if a character is introduced that is of an age older than 8, there's like a 80% chance that they're a bad guy. Because this game has like... They're like, alright, we need, we need to deliver our plot in like 40 minute chunks. What do we do? It doesn't have time to have characters that are worthless, is what I'm saying. Like, every character needs to be deliberate. Whereas you could play any other JRPG. And a lot of the time they can introduce a lot of side characters that have their own specific uh, reasons to be around. And that's perfectly fine. But this game, uh, this game does not have that luxury. It's got, a, it's got a lot of shit to do and not a lot of time. So it kind of, once you start, fi once that starts clicking, once you start figuring that out, which tends to be around this time, I guess, or maybe faster, depending on how how boring and cynical you are, uh, it tends to, you start to see the moving parts of a game a bit more, which uh, has happened to me a bit here. So I have to assume that dude's evil, or he just does something on the other side to support Either way, into the seaside grotto we go. In the hopes of rescuing a child. I'll say this. While the game... The game clearly doesn't have copy-paste dungeons. I've been saying that a little bit here throughout videos. Uh, but it's mostly describing the format. Uh, when it comes to making them, they're very distinct. Like this bridge, the effect of the water there, great use of lighting... It's just unfortunate that they all follow a similar template of they need to be mostly a linear path, and that linear path is broken up by uh, chests that typically are incredibly visible to the uh, to the eye that make you want to go in the other direction. But overall, there's it. It's that, and it's the fact that they're done very very quickly. Which, I'm, ready. Uh, I'm sure, no doubt, makes people uh, who are very sensitive to that be a bit less into it. Because with any other dungeon, uh, they, they typically make them a little bit longer. Like, running from one end of it to the other, instead of taking like two or three minutes, will typically take at least ten minutes. And... You know, you're going through different rooms, different structures. There's a bit more variety there. And this game doesn't have as much of that. It's kind of just... Very safe. Uh, to be fair, I feel like this game's just playing it safe in general on purpose. There's a lot of different... There's a lot of different, like... Things going on here. Like, one... I gotta think about, like, the business side of this. This is a game that was revealed... With a uh, cool little trailer. There's a there's a fucking thing over there. Sorry, small distraction. This game was revealed in January of last year, uh, when the Switch had its first uh, big announcement thing. The first time where they're like, "Here are the games you can play." Because technically, while you saw some Switch games in their very first reveal ad, this is the first time where they said, "You can play this here. This is what we offer." And this was Square's big support. This is the first game they showed, and an exclusive JRPG seems tantalizing. And I'm sure they had to think, what would be the best uh, game to put on here? And they think about their legacy that they had with Nintendo in the past until they had that falling out in the in the late in the late 90s and the very early 2000s with the whole cartridge disc thing. 
they were known for stuff like Final Fantasy VI, Final Fantasy V, you know, all the Final Fantasies, really. They, they were known for a lot of that, Chrono Trigger. So it makes sense that they would want to make something like that. So you can kind of see where that's going, but they also wanted to take advantage of the fact that the game's still portable, so they want it to be, you can play it in bite-sized chunks, and then when you're making something this retro looking, it looks like you almost want to do something that evokes the same feeling, so they end up leaning really hard into cliches a little bit, and I can see how we got a game like this, where it seems a little bit more risk-averse, but also... But also not in the way it changed its format, but then the format of the game of eight stories that are really short and bite-sized and dungeons that are really simplistic seems really focused on short play sessions. Huh? You know, thinking about it also, would I, have, would I like the game more if I did quick play sessions of this? Is that like a better way to experience this? Because there is some arguments that can be made for games that are a bit more enjoyable if you play them in shorter play sessions instead of devoting a few hours per session or maybe even more uh, to just playing it. So that's always a question too. Either way, in the end, it's just another hat with hat half wit believer, probably on his knees right now somewhere, crying and praying to his gods. <sighs> he can pray all he wants. It's not gonna bring him any miracle. The only one who makes miracles is the savior. Food for thought. I mean, the savior is pretty cool. Um, I know not everyone was the biggest fan of Devil May Cry 4, but I I really liked it. Though it'd have been more fun to finish off father and daughter together. Guess you can't have it all. You're that kid. If you want to hate someone, hate your father for abandoning you. You must stop. Huh? What? This brazen wench. She's the flame bearer. <laughs> They send us the flame with a cherry on top! Unforgivable! Terrorizing a poor child for your own gain? Is there not a speck of humanity in your hearts? I'll have you know that I am... What? <laughs> what ho? It's fine. Listen up, woman. Just give us the ember and we're done here. You're wrong. That will not be happening. How oh, now? Oh yeah. And I'll be taking Lysa home. Yeah. Now that will not be happening. Hey hey. Oh well. Yes, we'll just have to do with this. Uh, we'll just do it the hard way, you know, with the punch, 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 punch. We will stop you here and now. How about you? Well, this is our boss, uh, two dudes. Shady Figure and Mystery Man. Sh Shady Figure gets two fucking turns next turn. Are you kidding me? I already don't like this. I'm already, like, I'm already, like, not into it. There, give him the juice. I'm ready. Your foe is unaffected by magic at this point. Might as well make your magic better. Because at the very least we can start prepping for it. I see. Well, down your uh, defense just a little bit here. And reflective veil. I'm ready. All right, now that you're up. How about a bewildering effect? Master of video games, as always, I get all the HP I need. Uh, I'd like to know when the... 
their immune bullshit ends up going away, because I'd really like it to go away now. I mean, it's barely started, but I'd like it to go away now. Fireball! How about you? Well, that helps. Hmm. Cross strike seems. Oh no, we'll do level slash. I will cut you down. All right, that dude's weak to swords. I'll do my best. Hmm. There, that's a break on him. No turns for you. That's the ticket. I am ready. It did that mu By the way, that did that much on one point? This dude is made of paper. Uh... May the sacred flame shine forth. I will not be defeated. It's looking like that guy's gonna be definitely really easy to take out. Guess we can try a thousand... Let's not use all our points on it. A thousand spears. Yeah, I was gonna assume this dude's weak to spears because, uh, wasn't affected by swords. It all kind of just becomes guesswork of what they're weak to. Next turn, Fluid Essence. Oh good, someone died! I was hoping that wouldn't happen. Seems like their whole thing is just killing you with a absurd amount of uh, spread. Do I only have one fucking revive? Okay, we can't die anymore after this one. I have no choice but to Use give them grapes. <laughs> and, uh... Yeah, we're gonna have to do the grape again. Because it'd be a waste to break one of them like this. Arcane Blade! It's, it fucking sucks that they're already going again, because they just win. There's not much I can do about it either. Here. I am ready. Okay, I get... I Yes, heal more will do Please decently. Miracle appealing. It kind of did okay. We're in that moment where I'm wasting my turns healing. But thankfully, we have a good set of turns coming up here. That I can take advantage of. That was painful to watch. Alright. <laughs> At least we nailed that. Alright, we've layered on a little bit of damage. Not the most. We had a we had a squeaky squeaky there too. There we got another break. I'm ready. And they don't have anything they can do next turn. So what we'll do is peacock, peacock strut. strut on Therian, and he'll do a full force spread best. attack. And we'll also have Ulbrich do a super powered attack as well, so I think we will target, uh, I, I feel like I'm going to break Mystery Man less often, so we'll do it on him. I am ready. And, uh, Elemental defense? Probably elemental defense makes sense. Do that to, uh... I'll protect to, to you. Alright. What are we looking at? Cross strike? Probably. 
There we go, about 5,000. And Lightning Blast. Alright. I'm sure they appreciated that. Ow, that was horribly painful. Arcane Enchantment. Okay, they are going to do a lot more now. Alright, he's in the his middling health at this point. Oh my god, I meant to do the bunch. Ah, uh, that's a shame. That's fine. We'll figure this out. Uh, not a fan of the fact that I'm just not allowed to exploit half their weaknesses. I think that's a little unfair. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say that full stop. A little unfair how they're just like, no, no, you're not allowed. You've lost that right. When did you lose that right? When the fucking fight started. I'm sure, I'm sure once one of them are dead, that's when the fucking gates go down or some shit like that, but I don't have to feel good about it. Bring about a I also wish Heal More just, you know, healed more. I feel like it heals so little. Even with boosts, I don't feel like it's that great. I feel like items end up being about the same. Uh, though, though maybe, maybe it's dealing with your stats, so you have to raise your elemental stats, so then the heal does more. It's probably that. Never mind. Never mind. I'm saying incorrect things. Uh. Yeah, let's do Spearhead. And I'll push him to the, to the front of the pack. Victory shall be mine. Alright. Uh, we need to guess whatever that dude's, uh, other weapon weakness is. I will say staff. Nope, not at all. Um... Well, I would love to get you out of the, out of the way as soon as possible. Have we tried dagger on the top dude? I believe we have. Uh, but I'll do it. No, I won't do it. I will give a, uh, give a plum to Ulbrich. <laughs> fuck! <laughs> My turn. <laughs> just, just, fuck. Hmm, I need to get the damage now. Unfortunately, I didn't break both of them, so. That's my loss. I'll do my best. What, what else could it be? It's not staff. It's not sword. It's not dagger. Axe. Probably axe. It's definitely not magic. I don't... Pretty, I'm pretty sure they blocked those two out. Be, I'm pretty sure they blocked two for him and three for the other dude because they're specifically magic techniques. Not, I'm not a fan of that. No. Do the bunch. Do that Brady Bunch, please. Alright, here I thought this fight seemed a little bit simple, and then they, you know, just wrecked me. There we go. Let's start limiting them at least a little bit. Oh, horrible bloody pain. You know, my favorite. Merchant skill. Uh, donate BP. One for all. There we go, not the strongest thing in the world, but we can keep, keep pushing them. Hmm. Who else is doing shit? Ah, oh, fuck it. How about do that? My turn. I'm ready for you! Are you? There we go, another 45 hundo. Mm -hmm. And give me heal more. Bring about a miracle of healing. Stop healing, you asshole! I have many complaints, and many of them have to deal with that. Ow! We could we could wipe very easily against these guys, if only because one of them has way too many fucking turns. Way too many turns, and the game is just like, no, you are not allowed to uh, play the video game. You're, you're, 
We we're cutting off all those weaknesses. I will continue to bitch about this till the end of time. Uh, because that's me. Hello. Uh, let's heal now so we don't wipe. For his first move, owie. For his next move, fuck you. Okay, now that we've set that up sufficiently. Can we bring about one of those healing miracle things I heard so much about? Thank you. I don't know. There's no guarantee that you'll not be defeated. I don't know, man. You should be careful. Mm -hmm. I'll wait till next turn to break him. Yeah, I'll wait till next turn to do it. Because I can totally do it with the dagger. Which means I should go for uh, a thousand spears. Oh, nice. We got three out of that. That means Olbra can do it on this turn. Alright. Ah, oh, we finally got a good one going. The peacock struck. Alright, let's get ready to nuke him. At the very least, let's try and kill the dude on top. We're power bottoms, clearly. Oh, am I ready for this? Okay. That's one. Okay, his weaknesses actually didn't go away. Now, I did miss the first line that said why their defenses were up. Uh, but I think at this point I could just kind of like... I'm pretty sure the wiki for Octopath is a thing. Octopath wiki. I remember looking it up one time. Actually, I found some on IGN about this, because I'm interested here. Uh, these two work as a pair, so take out whichever you prefer, though ideally you probably want to take out the shady figure first as he heals Mystery Man. However, no matter which boss you go for, you'll want to bounce team. Blah, 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 blah. This has given me absolutely no information. I fucking... Your foe is protected by an unseen force. Nullifies magical weaknesses for the pair. Okay, that... Removes the nullifications from weaknesses after Shady Figure dies. Oh, son of a... Oh, I get it. Whoever casts the nullification has to be killed for them to go, so I killed the wrong one first. That is the mechanic. We understand. Someone's already written a comment, though. <laughs> There's nothing that's stopping that train. I can assure you. Oh, whatever. You guys mean well. Alright, this dude's super low, so let's just break him and get out of here. Overall, interesting, interesting fight idea. I feel like a bit more information should be visible, like maybe an effect bar that will tell you what current effects are happening. That way I'd know how to deal with that uh, nullification thing. Uh, that's when you're leaning a little bit too into the classics uh, when when you have a problem like that. That's just my thing. It's, it's not even that big of a deal, but it, it's, a, it's, a, it's there so I can bitch about it, which I love to do. Yeah, let's get another couple of breaks in. And let's steal some SP that'll break him. Very good. Damn. Victory shall be mine. Watch my blade dance. He didn't really dance, you kinda just like moved it into his body. Alright. Will this kill? Yes, it will. There. That's your boss. Where's the nearest tavern? <laughs> We're in a cave. Damn it all. How could this little slip of a girl trounce us? You are safe with me. Uh, 
I was very scared, but as you know, no one in this part of the story is important. They don't have voice acting. It's kind of weird, because, you know, well, usually the bosses are a bit more on the important side, and you get, like, a full voice thing before we start, but no. These are some Lasers. filler dudes. The savior wanted it. This is the second time you've spoken that name. Who's the savior? <laughs> oh, you'll be trembling before his true power soon enough. <laughs> Poison. Who in the world is a savior? Is everything really over? Now we have many chapter fours to do, and we're not even done with all the threes. Though I'm gonna be honest, I wish I could just forget Han it was a character. Is something troubling you, Primrose? I can't wrap my head around it. Having faith so strong that you give up your own life. See, I prefer to put my faith in myself. When I feel helpless or find myself in trouble, I continue to believe in myself no matter the situation. Fine words, believing in yourself is important and powerful. You s you'll still let me help you. At least some of the time. Because come what may, I'm your friend and ally. Yeah, sure. Well, we should go let everybody know the, the good news here. Oops, I almost fucking skipped it. I was just holding my run button. Lisa. God, even this isn't voice. Such a relief. See, I told you that everything would be all right. Thank you very much. Thank you for the bottom of my heart. I do not know how I can begin to repay you. Of course. There's no need for that. Except for the fact that I used a bunch of items that cost money. But as you know, good guys are fucking suckers. Sister Ophelia. I will do my best. Now shall we begin the kindling? Yes. Everything is ready now. I'll show you to the altar. Oh great Elfric, bringer of the flame. To you I offer my soul and my blood. With your first flame, I kindle this fire. May it forever shelter the people of this land. Through the sacrament of the kindling, grant us your mercy and your blessing. We've done it! This concludes the kindling. Thank you very much. Wasn't that the same line from the last one? So it's like the one we got voice acting again. But this time it, it was re a repeat, I believe. May the sacred flame shine upon you. I've heard that the flame bearers oft face trials in their journey. I mean, I went into a cave and uh, fought two powerful sorcerers. Uh. Yes. 
I can I say it? Those with kind hearts will find themselves shouldering the pain of others as if they were own, their own. Have it no other way. If I can help lessen another's pain by taking a portion of it onto myself, more than happy to do so. Oh. You are a strong and noble woman, Sister Ophelia, and your kind heart has brought us succor today. After this, you'll be returning to Flame's Grace, yes? Pray spend the night and rest before moving on. Yeah, thank you and all that stuff. Ophelia. Anna! Isn't... Well, whatever are you doing here? You're, that's our sister, right? Oh, this can't be good. Were you not staying at your father's side until he recovered? That's why I'm here, Feely. You don't mean... I've taken a room at the inn. Will you join me there so we can talk? Of course. Here, have this. Thanks. Now tell me, what has happened? Promise me you'll stay calm, Ophelia. Father is no longer with us. I have not yet told Liana, but I fear I am not much longer for this world. I trust that I know my body better than any other. Your Excellency. He's gone, Feely. Father's. Father. I'm sorry, Feely, but I need that ember. For father. Did you bring the ember? Can you truly bring my father back? But of course! That is the power I have received from on high. What did your church do for your father before his death? Nothing but pray. They could offer you only empty words. We can offer you something more. With this ember, we can make your every wish come true. You really mean it? Come with me, back to Whispermill. Liana, you can't. Sorry, Feely. <gasps> oh, you're back. You've returned to the land of the no voice. Oh. Oh. 
But how could... I'm so very sorry. No. No, nah, don't worry about it. The one who took the ember. Hmm. What? Hmm. They mentioned they were going to that location. If I recall... There's a village in the Flatlands, if I recall. They say is spreading the word that our teachings are not but lies. Terrible plague struck the village not all that long ago. A great many people died. Our faith did not keep their loved ones from dying. In their grief, no doubt, they began to look elsewhere. Uh. Sister Ophelia. You mean to go there, don't you? To Whisper Mill. Yes. I can see you've made up your mind. Well, all right. These villains have already resorted to kidnapping and death threats. No telling what they might do to you. Thank you. They tried to kill me like five minutes ago when we were in the cave. I, I assume it's something on that level. Liana. Why would you do such a thing? There has to be some mistake. And so it was that Ophelia left Goldshore behind her. She will take back what was stolen from her. The sacred ember and Liana's heart. Whispermill in the Flatlands is where she must go to reclaim them both. So Ophelia's journey continues, veering off in ever unexpected direction. Oh, Liana, why? She must have had her reasons. Huh? You are thinking about the young girl who stole the ember. Do you truly think her capable of committing an act on her own? No. All she's ever wanted was to make the Ar Archbishop, her father, proud of her. Yet she stole the ember. Mayhap something drove her to it. Yes. First, we should track her down and put the question to her. Then, perchance, we will find out the why and wherefore. What made Liana do what she did? Was her hand forced? Answer those questions, and you may be able to help her. I will do whatever you need to assist you. Thank you, Sir Ulbrick. Alright, so now that we've had a little story dump, uh, let me talk about uh, my feelings on her story now, because... Uh, I was saying, I, I was kind of talking about how Ophelia is like kind of okay. It's not the best, but I want I want to render a little bit of judgment once we're uh, once the final chapter is typically set up for these characters. Uh, it, it essentially lays the cards on the table in terms of what we can uh, what we can expect uh, going forward. So my thing is that. We start the story, we went through it, it's like you gotta go on a pilgrimage, the dad's sick, so you'll take it in your uh, half-sister's stead. You go and you do it. The second chapter is filler garbage that no one cares about. It's just like, oh man, look how great she is, she helps some kids. And she lit one of the thingies because the goal is to light four of them. And the first one, of course, is where you start, so that one is auto-lit. Alright, so we got that one, we got the second one. And then the third one, we go here and we do it, and it turns out, like, a girl is kidnapped, we go save them, take them out, we light this. Just like that one, none really changes, except we learn that there's an evil cult. Which, I guess, makes sense if you're gonna take the religious character, you're gonna make them fight, like, their opposite. The Virgil to their Dante. 
Uh, but then the end of it pops up, and throughout this whole thing, I'm like, oh man, this one dude who showed up in chapter chapter one, he's gonna be a villain here, and he didn't show up here. But as soon as they said savior, I'm like, okay, he's it's got to be that guy. More on that in a minute. We get the meeting with uh, Ophelia's sister. And she lays it on the table. One, as soon as they set the drinks, I'm like, oh, is that, that to, like, knock her out or something? But I didn't want to say it out loud. One, because I don't want to be right all the time. Two, it also kind of didn't make sense, because I'm like, why, why is her sister suddenly going to be, like, yeah, antagonistic toward her? That, I never got that vibe. So now we learn that the father is dead. And the only way to save him, in quotations, is to follow the savior, which is just... It's just this girl being desperate for her father to be alive and taking any opportunity that is presented to her. And, uh, obviously the savior is going to be that that helpful merchant, or whatever that dude is. We're gonna fight him, and we're gonna hopefully get the sister to come to her senses and learn to move on. And that's it. But the game is also focused on, like, set, setting up the trials. Like, we had a talk just now in in that church where he was talking to Ophelia. And it's like, uh, the, this pilgrimage, especially with people of high faith, they have to go through many a trial. And I'm like, this, this makes so much sense if you were, like, 15 or 20% of the way through the game. But her story at this point at that point, was 70% done. And now it's 75% done. The, they need a lot more time to let these stories sit, and the game just doesn't let anything cook long enough. They needed more chapters, but then you also have the problem, I wouldn't play this game if there were eight chapters per character. I just... Like, the formula will, would, would just fucking get old it's already kind of old but there there comes but when you're doing final chapters you're like there's a little bit of weight behind it so you kind of ride it out a little bit more so I'm, I'm not too bothered i just healed again but what i'm saying is that i don't i don't hold ophelia's story in a very high esteem to be quite honest because uh, there's just not enough time for it to really just get going there's not enough time for story development for these characters. And some characters are able to handle that better than others, and she does not. She does not. So, that's my feelings on Ophelia's Chapter 3. We will meet her again in Whisper Mill once we are around level 45, which is the level 4, well, all of these. Except for, except for these. Let's do, uh, let's do Hanitz next. Um, I hate this. I'm being so critical recently in these episodes, and I hate that, but I'm just being honest. Like, a lot of the stuff just doesn't work. It doesn't... Alright, alright, uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk about something that I think is interesting. Um, when the game was coming out... I saw a lot of people praising it, and I was praising it myself when I got it, but I'm talking a little bit beforehand, where a lot of people were saying a lot of things about the game being positive, and there was one specific critic, uh, it was the guy that works over at Kotaku, uh, Jason Schreier, who had pointed out and started describing what the game really was, and he definitely said it was a major disappointment, and I think, uh, at the time I thought, I don't really mesh with that because he also really hated Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and I really, really like that game. So I thought, oh, maybe our tastes are different. And I'm starting to think, as I'm getting closer, he's kind of right. The game's combat, very good. Very good combat. Uh, format, uh, the visuals, really good. And the way they set things up uh, really shows a lot of potential. Uh, but when it comes to the story stuff, mm-mm, mm-mm, very, uh, very disappointing. Very, very, very dis- very disappointing. And, uh, I, I, it, it could have been, it could have been a lot better than what we have here. Uh, I'm not gonna count it out, though. Every chapter four could be something 
truly great. But I don't think it's going to be. I think they're just going to be uh, a little a little bit stronger than the average chapter, which means maybe they'll reach the highs of many of the chapter ones. But uh, we'll have to see. Of course, uh, this is the end of one of the videos. I'm going to try and find the tavern here, and next time we will uh, do Hanit's chapter, uh, who is my least favorite character in the game. So, see you tomorrow for that, I guess. Anyway, I love you.